this is the basic crossover which goes in inside the the uh, series three three-way models the low B1 the low B2 the low B4 and the purpose of this little video is to to show you how to remove it should you have to unlikely but stuff happens you know um, this one has the wires connected to it which go to the woofer the tweeter which you can see here the reason the tweeter is connected is because the the tweeter end of this wire is soldered to the tweeter um, actually the mid-range wire which is here that's this one also gets soldered you can see there are no connectors on that end this is the wire that goes to the woofer and it uses fast on style connectors <coughs> Mid-ranges and tweeters in practice are well protected by this poly switch right here, that guy, and hardly ever need to be replaced. It's just absolutely almost not a problem ever, ever, ever. But anyway, if you needed to remove this, uh, this, this crossover, it's easy to do. It's easy to take it out and it's easy to put it back in. All of these connectors, I'm trying to get it in the frame here, there we go. All of these connectors are unique. This is the wire that goes to the mid range. It's got a little tiny connector there. You can kind of wiggle it and get it off, and a larger connector there. So it only goes on one way. Again, trying to get it in the frame. Not very good at this. Now the wire to the tweeter has a, a common trace on that circuit board. As a matter of fact, it's the positive wire to the mid-range and the negative to the tweeter. But regardless of that, it has the same connector. So, those two have the same connector on them. One goes to the woofer, one goes to the tweeter. The other tweeter wire has a different one. Again, it's impossible to hook these things up incorrectly. There's only one way to hook them up. Then, and then the woofer wires have male and female connectors of a different size. And there they are. So, if you remove, if you were to remove the crossover from the back of the speaker by undoing those six screws. You can lift it up, and I think I'll make a video on how to do that too. Pull off those wires gently, try not to wreck anything, and then you've got a crossover. It's free. Free of the speaker. You can work on it, mail it back and forth, whatever you needed to do. This was impossible to do with the Series 2 because everything was soldered together, but these new connectors make it much easier to service should you have to do so.